24 in just 12 darts. And one of the benefits of winning Group A is that you do get the first game of the night. Whoa, 180! First 180 of the night. Probably belongs required 24. To the man from Scotland. Whitehead gets the throw. Does he get the leg? 18. He's lumbered but he in the basement. Boland having an outside chance. 8. This is tricky for someone like Corner because six. his darts do stand up. Gonna have to power it through. Power through two of them. Oh, oh, the what a shot! Day. Conan Whitehead. Right through the posts. Someone like Corner because six. his darts do stand up. Gonna have to power it through. Power through two of them. Game oh, shot the what a shot! Day. Conan Whitehead. Right through the posts. And with power. We're going 161. I don't necessarily think Willie Borland was particularly pushed in a lot of his games. And then once he won that group, kind of dipped off. It's another bullseye shot for Conan. It's not Will another he require bullseye 11. out. He fancied that. Double four. Game and show Boland the second does leg. his job Willy after Boland. dodging a bullet. 122. Four 18s and bull for a 2-1 lead. He can get past that. Told you. Now Game for a second, you just thought, leg. maybe he's going to be Whitehead. And then he realised, oh, it's the bullseye. I'm Conan Whitehead. I hit those things. Is make things Only difficult. 40. Hitting this tops will make things a bit easier for himself in Group One. Double marker. Game shot. And he of the wins match. by two. Conan Whitehead. One of the favourites for the night. Indeed, the favourite for the night. The winner of Group A this week gets off to a cracking start, winning by four legs to two against a very spirited Willie Borland. When you consider what he's done this week, that is actually his best average, and he's just lost the game. Whitehead, he's here to play, and he gets another bullseye check out. So, when we come back, we'll take a diversion. We'll go to the right, and we will see what happens in Group 2 with our first game there between Scott Walters and Richard North. Again, Richard requires 76. win the one that counts. Right now, this is very valuable. You want to get the jump. On the Group C winner, game show on the second Scott Campbell, and that Richard is a really North. good equaliser from Richard. 73 for the match. Double top this time. Game and that's the one that the gets match. it done. Richard North, he wins North. his first game of the night and his second game of the day. He's undefeated here on Saturday. There it is. It's not a classic by any means when you look at Scott's statistics. 14 missed darts at double. That's why he'll feel a bit aggrieved with himself. But Richard, 87.97. That is a good five points above his weekly average. And his doubles were very useful at one in every three. That's the first game in group two gone. But when we come back, we'll go back to group one. And we will say good evening to Steve West, who plays against Willie Borland. Davey require 100. This is a challenge. One treble needed. There it is. Double top. Game shot. Huge the first mark. Stay quality West. from West. First leg was tight, and West won it. Double top again. Game shot. The second leg. A little bit of Stay deja vu West. and a little bit of a celebration there from West, who was having a love, love relationship with to double top first. so far tonight. This is for a game won with four double tops in four darts. Game Outrageous shot doubling match. from West. Steve West. 100% on the outer ring and a mid-90s average to basically tell the field, I am the person to beat. It is a little bit behind what Conan Whitehead did against Willie Borland, but that doubling performance was special. They both had the same amount of attempts, but Steve hit his... Willie didn't take any of his chances, and he bows out at the group stage. When we take a short break now, we will take stock, and when we come back, Richard North has a chance of winning his group against Scott Campbell, who joins us. Requires 70 72. Twice. Campbell missed this in leg one. 
but not by this route. Game shot the top. second leg. Gets Scott into 1-1. One, one. Now, a very... Scott, you're a 87. Strange position for Richard, because if he loses 4-2, he will be sitting back watching game six with two points and minus one. Game He's shot in jeopardy now, match. because Scott, Scott Campbell, Campbell may only need legs when he plays against Scott Walters. Now, a very... Scott, you're a 87. Strange position for Richard, because if he loses 4-2, he will be sitting back watching game six with two points and minus one. Game He's in jeopardy now, match. because Scott, Scott Campbell, Campbell may only need legs when he plays against Scott Walters in the sixth game. And Richard knows his position more than most. He didn't play his best there. He did not get enough shots at double. He only got four, but Campbell got double that and he was able to hit half of them. It wasn't his best performance, but it was plucky. And it does get him his first two points and his debut win on a Saturday night here in Portsmouth. When we come back, we will conclude group one, but we already know that Whitehead and West are through, but who will win the group? 45 would leave his favorites. Goes 20, leaves the ball. Game shot and the that first leg. Was impressive Steve there. West. That was almost Conan Whitehead esque. He just needs the double to win group one, which is a very tough group. Stepping to the left on double 10. 20. Very curious step that one. That was very James Richardson. He's the only person I know who does that. Didn't quite pay off for him, but see if we'll, we'll be back. 148. Stevie required 20. I assure you, Conan did not want to hit the double 14. Can West finally get over the line? He is way left. Go in. Shot and and wins group one Steve with West. an excellent performance. And the only reason his average in that performance has gone south of 100 is because it took him a couple of visits to get it all done. But one of the favorites is through as the group winner, 96-04 and 26% on the doubles. He won't care about those numbers. He'll just care about the fact that he's unbeaten going into the semis and he will have the darts in the semi-finals as well. Conan Whitehead will play in semi-final two against the winner of group two. And I just wonder who that's gonna be. To find out, you'll have to come back after the break. You require 141. Because his points total will get to two, the same as North and he already has the same leg difference, so a positive step in the right direction will get him to a better position. But Game that is not a good shot sign. The first leg, Scott that Campbell. That shot from Campbell is his best check out of the week. You're not going to reference soup now, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> game oh, shot that's the better. second leg. He had Scott real Walters. turmoil on the doubles in his previous game. Just so you require 74. The Double top with an absolute beauty of a mark. Game shot Absolutely the sensationally Scott used. Scott Walters. No trebles makes the next shot just a little harder. If indeed there is a next. Richard North has not got any fingernails left. It's the bullseye. Game wow! Shot the the best leg. bullseye of the week. Scott Campbell. Right in the middle. Yeah. But the man on debut. Has one left. Game he wins shot the group. And, the match. and Richard Scott North Campbell. will follow him through. Scott Walters will have to wait for another day to get that elusive weekly title. But the semi-final lineup is now completed because Campbell, who wins that group, will take on Conan Whitehead in the second semi-final. As far as Richard North is concerned, he squeaks through to the semis and he will take on Steve West in the first semi-final. That was a great performance from Scott, as you can see. 88.71 and 50% on the doubles. He will like that very much. Stay with us. It's semi-final time next.
Yeah, for Richard, Richard he was 75. Playing a bit of a movie quiz with most people in the practice room this evening before practice began. And a Gage bit like Rambo, he there. has got first blood. Richard blood. North. North throws. Is it a sign of him just dictating the pace of this game? Double 18 for Richard. Game shot Shanghai the up there. Left. Richard North. Well, of week four. Game He's there. Shot on the match. And he'll have to wait to see Richard who he plays North. in the final. But Steve West's perfection on Saturday night. It does come to a close. Richard North doubles his money and he will go through to the final to play against Scott Campbell or indeed Conan Whitehead. It wasn't a classic by average standards, but as you can see, towards the end, Richard was the better player. We'll take a short break now and when we come back, it will be that second semi-final. Free-flowing style of the man from Kent. It just doesn't seem to be coming to the four as much as it did in his first game of the night against Game Woody Bourne. On the second He's trying to do the second Scott Campbell the match. 32. Of course he's hit it. Of course he gets another. Game wow! Shot what a shot the from Whitehead! Head. Conan that Whitehead! That is an absolute sword to the ribs. Just when you need a catalyst. They don't come any Four better than that. Conan. Just under a year ago. Does he get another look at it? You can almost hear the hearts beating here in Portsmouth from the players and the fans. It's double 18 this time. And I think he pulled it. Conan, you require 32. For another tilted glory to be within one game of greatness. Game He's there, on the and he will be the favourite for the final. Whitehead. A great recovery for the man who won Series 1. He's got four weekly titles in the bank, and to his credit, he's now going to have a crack at five to try and join Colin Osborne and Robert Owen on the all-time list at the top. He was averaging poorly after two legs, but then he won the final four with that magical 1-3-2, which was galvanising his chance from there, he was the best player, and he wins that semi-final by four legs to two. Only Bulls won 63. by Richard North in the practice room. Doesn't mean anything for a while. Double 16. What? Game show on the first And there leg. you hear the roar of Conan, Conan Whitehead. Whitehead. It means Conan, you're another chance 20. for Whitehead. This time, there's nothing in the way. Game it had to be done on five, match. because the that is weekly title Super number five. Champion. He wins Conan week four, Whitehead. and we'll have a chance in the next few months to see whether he can go to the top of the all-time list. He was the favourite at the start of the night, the winner of Group A, and he's gone on to win the week with an 89.14 average. Yes, his doubles were under 30%, but ultimately he did find his best stuff towards the end of his semi-final and in the final. He was definitively the best player. Only five legs played. Richard North never really in it. He did cling on in the end, but he wasn't as good as Conan Whitehead. He won Series 1. He's won his qualifying week here in week four. We've got plenty more for you coming up on Monday. But before then, it's our ceremony with Henry and Laura on the stage. Your champion is Conan Whitehead. Conan Whitehead. Well, it's been a while since we've had this conversation. It's nice to have this conversation again. Many congratulations. Just to sum up how you feel right now. Um, well, I was very, very nervous going into that final there. And same as the semi-final, I knew that, well, my opinion, the winner was coming from that top group today. Mm -hmm. And when I, when Steve went out, I thought, we're well, only me to go now. Mm -hmm. So, got the job done. <laughs> you did get the job done. Just, just talk about that final against Richard there, just assess the way you played, and, and your thought process throughout that final. Uh, the thought process was very, very nervous. Mm -hmm. Very nervous, and it was... 
All I wanted to do was get on top of Richard, because once Richard starts scoring, he's an animal. But literally keep on top of him, nick, nick, the, nick the finishes, and there we are, 4-1. When you say nervous before the final, was it because of what's at stake or because you've been there before and you're so desperate to do it again? A bit of both, really. Uh, yeah, I, I want to do it again. And like I did say before, I said I will do it again. So, so well, first step's here. The first step is here. Now, what you have done this evening, Conan, is throughout the course of Southampton and Portsmouth, you've now won five weekly titles here. That is up there with anybody who has ever played at the Super Series or the Live League prior to that. How proud an achievement is that for you, Conan? So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm coming for more. And you're coming for more, and you're coming back for Champions Week, the former champion back in the big week, in the big occasion. But you want to be co-two-time champion, don't you? Uh, I will be two-time two champion. Well, Conan, I'll take that microphone off you. I'll let you have your moment to lift the trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion for the week, Conan Whitehead. Well, Conan, I'm just going to get you just to depart the stage and bring Laura Turner on just to get some final thoughts on what we've seen so far uh, this evening and what we saw in week four here. Conan and Laura just rushing past Laura. <laughs> Well, Conan's that hungry for Champions Week, he's left the trophy on the table. He doesn't want just the, the weekly trophy, he wants the Champions Week trophy. And look, when you're the former champion, I suppose that's what you're hungry for. Yeah, this is just part one of his plan, isn't it? Let's be honest. And he made it quite clear when he's coming back, he's going to win that Champions Week. Did it feel like at points tonight that there was almost a, there was an air and an aura about Conan? Yeah, I think when he actually started going, when he really started finding the treble 20s, hitting those 180s, those bullseye finishes that we saw earlier in the week, he just looked relatively unplayable. And, you know, I think it's the right result considering what we've seen this week. Now, when you win a, a title and you win a, a trophy of some description, when you go back to either defend it or you go back to play for that trophy, Thereafter, do you feel a different type of pressure to try and win it again? I mean, I'd have to think back because it's been a while since <laughs> I've won a trophy. But no, I, I understand what you mean. But I think for Conan, especially, it's not necessarily just about the trophy and the title. He's really comfortable in this arena, and that's another thing. When you do go back to defend something, it's how comfortable you feel in some, you know, in in places. And as I said in comms, as I was leaving the stage earlier, I was demanded off Conan Whitehead's own stage. So he obviously is very comfortable here. And you look at the Champions Week lineup now, and we're four weeks into the process. Three of those four players have now played at three Champions Week. Are we learning now at the Super Series as we approach the one-year anniversary of moving into this particular building tomorrow, the players that just have this format sussed? Yeah, and it's a long format. I think for debutants that come in, it's a real big learning curve, curve especially on the first attempt, because... You know, you can see it with Scott Campbell. I think he was exceptional. But for other debutants, it is a lot more difficult because, you know, it can be a long week. There's a lot of matches to play and you've got to negotiate your time well. And I think because they've got the experience and the champions like Conan Whitehead, yeah, I just think they're, you know, they're using all that experience and getting the right results. And finally, have you enjoyed your first full week here at the Super Series? I have very much so, yes. Thank you for having me. Hopefully you'll have me back. We, I'm no doubt we'll have you back. So, Laura, it's been an absolute pleasure working with you this week. I hope you've enjoyed all the action, all the coverage here at the Modus Super Series. Don't forget that we're going to be back on Monday morning. Our coverage is going to get underway from half past nine in the morning. And it's going to be headlined by Conor Keenahan, the nine dark man, and the young sensation that is Leighton Bennett. But as far as week four is concerned, it was Co who going and went and picked up the trophy. He's even left the trophy on stage. The former champ is back at Champions Week. Bye-bye for now.